things are getting sunnier as we head toward the end of the week. Meteorologist Angelica Campos bringing all the details for us. Hi, Angelica. Hi, Kim. Yes, yeah, so we started today with clear skies, then it got cloudy. It, all, it is all because of the storm that was passing by, but as it clears, we're going to be in for a warm up. So let's get to the details. Right now it is 58 degrees. Cloudy skies over our city. Look at that, just a really pretty night. The winds are light and variable, and the humidity is rising up to 81%. We've had some areas of fog, and that will continue to be the case overnight with some patchy fog out there. Right now, it seems like it's dropping visibility to 5 miles in Carlsbad, 6.3 in Chula Vista. So really, it's not that bad, but it's definitely foggy out there. The winds are light, which will contrib contribute to more fog overnight. As we make our way into the mountains, some gusty winds, but again, not bad either. Winds between 20-30 miles per hour. Temperatures are in the mid-40s in Julian, 55 in Kearney Mesa. And looking ahead, we're going to start to see the skies open up again tomorrow as the winds turn to the northeast. But areas of fog can be expected into tomorrow morning, as well as a few leftover clouds. We have a disturbance moving through the Great Basin into the Rockies. And as it moves east, it's going to be replaced by a ridge of high pressure. That ridge will provide a warm-up winds out of the northeast. So it'll be a weak St. Anna event with wind gusts potentially of up to 30, 35 miles per hour tomorrow into Friday and the winds will start to subside by Saturday. At the coast for tomorrow in our tenders pinpoint seven day forecast 63 degrees on Thursday. Nice and sunny into the weekend with clouds returning next week. Inland communities upper 60s tomorrow 70s starting on Friday. 74 Saturday and for next week back down to the upper 60s as yet another system passes by but it doesn't bring a good chance for rainfall. So we're going to be in for a dry weather pattern, which is set to continue into the following week. In the mountains, the winds out of the northeast will be gusting up to 30 miles per hour, so very similar to what we're dealing with right now. And then on Friday, 57, winds will start to subside, becoming a lot more localized into Saturday. Winds will become onshore again on Sunday, bringing back clouds into the county starting Sunday into early next week. Desert 73 degrees tomorrow, warming back up to 77 on Friday with plenty of sunshine. Yeah, 70s and 80s in the desert, incredible. Thank you, Angelica.